We have got to look like the world's craziest motherfuckers up on this channel. Morning Diet Coke because I took my keto this morning. And that's about all I'm going to do as far as like keeping my commitments. Yesterday we worked out and I had a bunch of phone calls and things to take care of. I've been working my ass off. I'm, I'm, I'm so like sick right now. My nerves are shot. I'm going to puke. <laughs> like seriously, stop. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I am like, I don't even know how I feel to be honest with you. I'm so shaken up right now that like, and I don't know my ass end. I don't know what, what like what way is up right now. Like honestly. Like fuck. Like why does life have to be like this? Okay, stop. So you guys have been seeing, I'm really trying. Do you know how hard it is for a crazy bitch to like get it together? Like for real? I am... I had the world's worst year. We don't need to get into it. If you want to know, watch the videos, okay? The world's like crazy as shit, okay? I am human. I am a nut job, but I'm human. So I'm working. I'm doing my thing. I am trying to be healthier. I'm like aware that, you know, when I'm depressed, I drink too much. So we need to like nix that in the butt because that's not cute the way we act. Like, stop. Do I want to stop drinking? No, I don't feel like I have an issue with that. I have an issue with how I act when I drink too much when I'm mad at someone when I can't feel like I can express my feelings I then I then when I drink then I don't care that I'm gonna express my feelings that's just not healthy right so there's, there's so the problem isn't the drinking the problem is that I can't express myself in the relationship we're gonna get into that okay yes we are I'm going to work I'm doing my thing I'm trying to work out I'm trying to be healthier whatever okay I don't need to just like I'm working my ass off too like yesterday I spent hours recording, I spent hours answering emails, I'm taking everything extremely seriously, I take my commitments very seriously, and I'm trying to stay positive, doing good things that benefit my future, not take away from it. The last time I made a video, it was like all fucked because of the light, so let me just move over here. Okay, I'm trying, and I'm like barely hanging on by a thread here, like I'm doing better mentally. But, like, it's been tough. Like, I'm, I'm honest with you guys, right? So, I feel like I can't express my emotions in my relationship with Josh. Because anytime I have a feeling about something, he gets physically and emotionally abusive. So, and it just is the way it is. Like, there's some kind of outburst. He thinks I'm picking on him or I'm the bitch or whatever. Always. It's always my fault. And it was extreme. Like, nothing even happened. Again. 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 I had a conversation with him after work last night. We were talking about getting married, how much we love each other, about having a baby, which is all true. We're extremely passionate and do love each other. And we're like, we're going to get up at 7 because I have to work at 11.15 today. We're going to work out. We're going to keep our commitments. I need him to be on the same page with me. If we're going to like get on board with being healthier and doing the right thing, I need some effort just to be happy in the relationship. Like, just... The bare motherfucking minimum would be nice, you know? And he does do a lot around here. He cleans, he makes dinner. You know, he's like, we love each other. Like, it isn't about that. It's not about anything else besides, like, feeling like we're both giving and taking equally. And for our emotions to be good, right? Because this is a hard time. We're getting through it. Like, we pick each other up where we need to in the relationship. But, like, emotionally, I really need things, okay? At the very, very least, if you're not out doing whatever and I'm really trying and you can't give me what I need emotionally, at the very least, like, there's an issue and we're going to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about anything that's wrong ever. He just doesn't. I'm doing the exact same thing I said I wasn't going to do before and say I wasn't going to talk about this stuff. But, like, it, it just is. <sighs> whatever. He was sleeping this morning and I got to work. So I woke him up at, at, at eight. I didn't, I like let him sleep. I got up at seven. I like, I wasn't feeling good. My back hurts so bad from this motherfucking bed. I took a bath. I'm like, okay, it's eight o'clock. I want to spend some time with you before I go to work. I want to work out and do the things that we say so that we can be better mentally, physically, all the things so that, cause we're trying to push out of this mess. I'm not trying to stay like this forever. I'm not trying to be in this rut forever. And like, we need to pick ourselves up emotionally and do things to feed our brains and our bodies instead of like wallow in the mediocre. I'm just not doing that. And he got like an attitude with me. He was like, well, I can't, I can't get up when I fell asleep at 3 a.m. And it's like, 
but you didn't. We went to bed early last night. We went to bed at like 11. He's like, well, I didn't, I didn't sleep till after three. First of all, it's eight. Um, second of all, like, I know you did because you were snoring all night and I'm the one that doesn't sleep. Like, I didn't sleep last night. I am working out this morning. Like, I can go to work and you can take a nap. Like, we get so much time together. And he's always, like, okay, so I was like, all right, so if you don't want to, you just have to tell me that you don't want to. And, like, let it be at that. Like, we don't have to have an attitude. Okay, like, I love you. I kissed him. I tickled him. I wasn't, like, mean. And I just went to the bathroom. I started doing my makeup. And I texted him that I loved him earlier because I always text him so he has something to wake up to. We do that for each other. And he goes, I love you too. I wish we could be nice to each other. And I knew he meant me like I was the mean one, right? So I was like, I'm going to show you the screenshots. And you guys can tell me because maybe I'm wrong. If I did, Does this sound bad? Okay. I was like, all I want to do is spend time with you. All I want to do is make, do the things that we say we're going to do. He came in the bathroom. I was sitting like, I didn't have pants on. I was just sitting like kind of naked putting my stuff on because I get like really hot and sweaty. I'm just sitting there putting makeup on, sitting in the like little tub. He's like, bitch, I'll fucking knock those eyelashes off your motherfucking face. You cunt, bitch. And he like pushed me into the mirror and got in my face like this with his bad breath and was like, fuck you, I'm done with you talking to me like I'm a bitch, like I do nothing in this relationship. And he's like, yeah, I'll fucking knock your ass out, whatever. And I was like, whoa, and I know he will. So like, I'm not gonna push you back. Cause like, I'll go there, I'll like, I'll knock you out. But I'm not trying to like, end up in the hospital or hurt somebody. Like, we're gonna just diffuse the situation cause the, the point is to be calm and safe, right? And to do better. And I don't wanna revert back to my old ways, which he forces me to wanna do with Bo. Like Bo and I went, we brawled okay like I'm not doing that um I'm not doing that and I can't be putting myself in situations where I feel like I want to do that because I am a I'm a fighter I'm gonna get you like I can't be that way I'm too good for that life is too good for that it's we're not doing that um so I just kind of sat back and he's like walking around he comes in here and he's sitting here and I, I give him like five ten minutes I come out and I'm like hey that was like too much um he's like fuck what you're talking about bitch leave me alone leave me alone you bitch like whatever like just crazy ghetto as fuck and i'm like okay like whatever and then then he gets up and he gets in my face again he starts pushing me around again and he's like i'm just done with you treating me like shit blah 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 i'm like you're not putting your hands on me again i'm like it's done we're done I can't do this. Like, I have to love myself first. And he's like, oh, we're done. And then he grabs my, like, waiter thing and he hits me in the head with it, takes the money out of it, puts it in his pocket, packs his shit, and walks out the door. I block him on everything like I always do. And he just texts me from a text now number. Are you sure you want to be done? I'm not even going to read the messages anymore. Do I love him? Yes. I love him. I've never loved anybody more. In fact, last night I was just laying there in bed thinking how lucky I was to just feel so happy and passionate and excited about the future. But it's like, at what point is love and passion not enough? Like I need security, stability, a go-getter. I need someone who's not going to put their hands on me. I like lost a whole baby over him putting his hands on me. He strangled me while I was pregnant. Like when am I going to love myself and be passionate about me, bitch? Because I can love myself. I'm paying my own bills right now. Um, minus a little bit of help from my ex-husband. But, like, I am really doing well. Um, at what point am I like, hey, you're enough. You don't need to be treated this way. You know, am I mean to him? Was I mean to him while I was drunk the other night? Yeah. But it's also because I feel like I can't express my feelings. The minute I'm like, hey, can we do better? Can we love each other? Can we be nice? Can I maybe have a say? And how I feel, he got, he's got to go get physical with me. No, it was not cool. And I got to go to work here in a couple hours and like keep it together. And just do better because there's nothing more that I want to do than not go and just have a drink. But I'm not doing that. I'm going to work. And I have commitments. I have videos I need to make. But I have shit I'm doing. I am really trying. And anybody who wants to like, and then I got to worry about him trying to like email people and send my nudes and like, what do I got to be worried about that for? I don't want somebody who's trying to constantly ruin my life. That's not love or take something away from me because they can't get what they want. Like that's not love. 
Like, at what point did I get so fucked up in my fucking life that I thought that this was acceptable behavior to be treated like? The, the truth is, is that he's never been all that, like... <sighs> He needs to go and do what he needs to do and I need to let him do it and I need to do what I need to do and get through some time alone and figure things out because I will never have someone put their hands on me like that again. I will never feel like I can't talk to you about my feelings ever, not ever, ever can I. And he'll say, yes, you can, baby. Yes, you can. And then this happens. No, I can't. No, the fuck I can't. And I'm really trying for us too. So it's like, I don't know. Like I said, we look nuts. Hold on. Yeah, he just texted me and he was like, do you want to be done or not? And then I just, I'm going to insert what he wrote here. Like, and then he'll be like, oh, you're just going to make a vlog about it. Motherfucker, you knew who I was when I started dating you. Of course, I'm going to talk about it. It's what my life is. It's sharing it out loud. That's what I do. And if you don't want to look this way online, don't act like this okay like let's not do that he has me acting out crazy i can't be i did i saw a tiktok i'm gonna actually i think i might recreate it i can't have it's something like i can't have people in my life who make me act out of character i can't be ghetto as fuck like that's not cute but 37 years old we don't need to be like wanting to fight and like act crazy and do crazy shit and like have toxic traits and like create more toxic traits and show the kids that we're acting like this like that is not okay at what point do we stop that and it's right now i love him more than anything i do i do there's something about him and i don't know but we just like get each other i love him very much like we're best friends we're passionate but okay i love him but like when i see the messages that he has from his ex or whatever I don't cry about it anymore. I'm not like, am I hurt? Yeah. But am I like surprised? No. You know, I'm not surprised. You can't like, you can only hurt somebody so much or do something so much. Just like right now, I'm not begging you to come right back in. Fuck no. He had me do that a million times and then I look crazy and then I have to sacrifice myself, my feelings about myself. I have to put myself down. Every time that he pushes me like that or calls me a cunt bitch whore slut whatever and I say baby don't go what are, what am I telling myself I'm telling myself yeah you deserve to be treated like that you're a worthless ass bitch and that's not true I am way too beautiful I am way too smart I am way too ambitious I am way too loving do I have flaws fuck yeah bitch I'm nuts who isn't you know but like I don't deserve that and I know that's true there's not one person in his life that he's been with that doesn't agree that he gets like that. Like, shut the fuck up. It's not like he was some saint at the church, like, that just lost his way briefly. No, stop. Shut the fuck up. I'm not doing it. I love him. I want him to get his fucking shit together. I want to get my fucking shit together. I wanted, wanted to do it together. But I can't be in a relationship where I feel like I can't express my feelings. Or, like... Is it real? Is he in the bathroom talking to someone? Who was Jersey Girl? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it doesn't ma even matter if you don't know. Like, it doesn't even matter. It's dumb. Is it real? I don't know. Do but it's like, I, it's not about the message per se. I mean, it is about the message, but it's not. It's like, how do I feel about the message? Him getting messages like that doesn't surprise me because he, you know, but like, what do I care for? I am a whole, like, motherfucking wonderful woman on my own. Like, I am beautiful. I am smart. I am doing things that I'm passionate about. I'm trying to live my life here. What am I worried about somebody if they're going to treat me this way? The problem isn't even with him. It's with myself. Like, obviously, there's problems with him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we all have shit. I got to love myself more. And I have to air this out because I said I'm going to hold myself accountable. And here I am. I, I cannot keep doing this. <sighs> am I going to be worried about walking to work? Like, is he going to be in the snowbank and, like, 
smother me in it. You know what I mean? Fuck. Why do I love him so much?